fun and easy DIYs are my jam and that's what I'm bringing you today. Plus, these are crazy budget friendly so I know you're going to love them. My name is Lisa and this is Our Gray House. I thought that the Santa Mitten that Wendy from White Sparrow Living Luke 12 6 created was genius. All you need is a red oven mitt, a dust mop head, and a Christmas pick from Dollar Tree. And that is literally it. You just take some hot glue and wrap the dust mop head around the top of the oven mitt and glue it down. Then add your embellishments to the corner and you are done. I thought this might be fun as like a pear and you could put it in the center of a wreath or something like that. Lots of decor options, but for only three bucks to make each one, it's fast, easy, and definitely affordable. This is how the Santa Mitten turned out, and it is super cute. And gosh, y'all, I mean, it took me less than five minutes to make it, and it's so cute. So thank you to Wendy from White Sparrow Living, Luke 12 6, for the inspiration. I'll have a link to her video in the description box below. This is a whiskey and wit inspired project. And what I mean by inspired is I'm nearly copying exactly what she did, but I did tweak just a couple of things. I'm just gonna trace out the mitten pattern and cut out 10 mittens. And as you can see, I'm just using part of a cardboard box. So like I said, it's a very inexpensive project. Now I'm going to have a link to the mitten template in the description box below. I don't know if you noticed, but we have a different supervisor on duty today. Socks is making a rare appearance and he's giving my handiwork a close inspection. Then I go ahead and punch two holes on the top of each of the mittens. This is how it's going to be hang, hung up later on the garland. The holes do not have to be perfect or anything like that. I did mark where I was going to put them, but you really don't need to. I used some white apple barrel paint to paint the tops of each of the mittens, the cuffs of the mittens. And one thing that I did was paint five on one side and the other five I painted on the other side, meaning the thumb is pointing to the right for five of the mittens and to the left for the other five mittens. I did not paint the back, although I suppose you could, but no one's really gonna see that part. And once that was done, I took a paint pen and started drawing on snowflakes in the center of the mitten. I drew an X and then I drew a line down the center vertically and then one across the center horizontally. I then went back and drew a V on the end of each of the lines. I'll show you a close up of the garland at the end and you'll see what I mean, but I could have used my Cricut or maybe even a stencil, but hand drawing it on worked just fine. I used the end of a paintbrush dipped in white paint to make little dots of snow. And this is how it looks so far. I'm making some pom-poms to go with this garland and I just took some white yarn and I wrapped it around my fingers about 30 times. Then I'm going to take another piece of string or yarn and tie it in the middle. And then I'm going to cut all the loops. And then I'm just going to give it a bit of a trim to kind of even out the pom-pom. I'm not trying to make it like real, just, I'm just trying to make it look neater, if you will. And now I'm trying to decide the pattern for the garland. I started off with 10 mittens, but I actually ended up just using five. The pearl looking beads are from Dollar Tree and they come in two different sizes. So if you're trying to recreate this, just be careful and make sure that you see the sizes so you know what size you're getting. The wood beads were left over from my Mary ornament in my last video. And if you haven't already, I'd appreciate it if you would hit that subscribe button as well as the bell for notifications so YouTube can let you know anytime I share something new. Y'all, this turned out so stinking cute. I absolutely adore it. And it's so easy to make. This garland was less than $5. 
The yarn, you can get that white yarn from Dollar Tree. The mittens were made out of pieces of cardboard. The beads were from Dollar Tree as well. And those were just a dollar for each package. So for less than like, probably even less than $4, you can make this super cute garland. So thank you to Whiskey. <laughs> thank you to Whiskey. Thank you to Whitney over at Whiskey and Wit for the inspiration. I just love it so much. And I'm gonna have a link to her video in the description box below so you can check it out. And thank y'all so much for joining me today. I hope you enjoyed today's video. These were fast. Well, I don't know if the garland was fast. The garland took me a little bit, but they were very much affordable and easy to make. And if you guys recreate this, please tag me in your pictures or your videos. I would just love to see what you've created. And thanks again to my inspiration folks, Whitney and Wendy. Oh, what the W is, Whitney and Wendy. Anyway, thank y'all so much for watching my video. And don't forget, if you wanna follow me here on YouTube or over on Instagram, it's Our Great House. But just don't follow me in real life though, because that's creepy. Bye.